Yo, what's up everybody? Llama here, and I've got a game of some uh, Titanfall attrition on whatever this map is. There is, uh, like 14 maps in this game, so I'm not sure what every one is called so far, but, uh, yeah, I got this game at midnight, um, last night at Walmart. I was gonna go to, uh, GameStop, because I ended up sleeping all day. I'm off for, uh, spring break this week, so I slept literally all day Monday. I woke up at, like, 8 p.m. or something retarded, so, um... I was like, I didn't have it pre-ordered at GameStop, but I'm gonna go there, because I would assume they'd have it. Uh, Darksiders 2, or whatever that is, came out uh, last night, too. So I was like, if they have two big blockbuster, not blockbuster, two pretty big-sized games coming out, GameStop definitely is gonna have a midnight release, which, of course, they didn't, but um, there's a Walmart right next to my GameStop, and I went in there, and um, the girl behind the counter at the electronics did, like, a big box of Titanfall games, since I guess they're allowed to sell it at midnight. So I got it there, and then uh, three hours later, I got to play it, because the freaking... Uh, Installs for the Xbox one. They need to fix that. So like I haven't used my Xbox one in a while So I uh, probably should have updated the OS uh, Before I got the game last night, but like I said, I didn't play it in like two weeks or whatever So I turned it on last night. I get the uh, update thingy. So that takes like half hour to download or whatever 20 minutes to download and then um Install the game it takes another 20 minutes and then there was like a two gig patch for it So it took like an extra hour and a half two hours to uh, finally be able to play the game Which is um, annoying. I don't know why we can't just play uh the game off the disc while we have to install stuff, especially with the uh, 500 gig hard drive that's going to fill up really quick. And I know Microsoft said uh, there's an update where you can use external drives and stuff like that soon, but that's not here yet. And I'm guessing they're going to have to be formatted in some weird uh, like file type or whatever. So um, they're only going to work on Xbox One, so you can't use it back to your computer and stuff since I'm sure uh, it has to be written in a certain way to uh, store the uh, games and stuff on there. I'm not too sure how that'll work, but um, it's kind of dumb me to install the game. So here I ended up getting a good game. So um played a lot. I got a bunch of decent games. Nothing really stand outish, but uh, this one was pretty good. I think I end up going flawless here, and I just destroy when I get the uh, Titan, which a lot of people were making the mistake is um, I saw people when they're in the Titans, like an enemy here. You see how I'm shooting at this guy? Uh, takes a little while to kill him. But um, if they're right next to you, just uh, hit the turbo button or hit the sprint button and run them over because you just have to step on them and it will uh, get the splatter kill for you. I see a lot of people using the 40 millimeter uh, cannon on the Titans or like the rail guns and stuff like that and trying to shoot at people on the ground. It just doesn't work and those people are able to like jump up and rodeo them, kind of like take their Titan out. So uh, it's one mistake people were having. Another thing, uh, this game runs really smooth except I was getting a lot of frame rate drops and then... Uh, I don't know, like in Call of Duty, everyone knows how you're trying to run through a door and you get stuck on teammates and stuff like that. I've gotten stuck on uh, other teammates' titans a lot, so it's probably good. It's a 6v6 thing. Uh, the bots are actually pretty nice in this game, because uh, for the uh, games, when you're having a crappy game, <laughs> at least you can kill bots and stuff. I think they bumped up the specters a little from the beta, because those things will actually uh, kill you now. Not not um, super easy. I mean, they're not just going to like kill you. They're not ridiculously good or anything or anywhere near the pilots. The grunt's absolutely stuck still, but... um. Spectres, they bumped them up a little bit, so they're a little bit better. And then, uh, what else? The uh, lack of guns is kind of annoying, too. I thought there was going to be a bunch of uh, different assault rifles. I think it turns out there's like two or three, which kind of sucks. I thought it was going to be like a huge creative class thing like Call of Duty. But overall, I was digging this game. Um, it takes a while to get used to the map, so once you get used to them, it's really fun. I think it was just uh, taking a while. Like, I didn't like some of the bigger ones right when I started playing last night. But then once we figured it out, I um, started liking them. Like, there's this one... It's like the dry, I want to say it's called Boneyard or whatever, if anyone played it already. It's like that dry desert one, and I was like, this map freaking sucks the first two times I played it. And then, uh, once you get comfortable with everything, you start to like the maps and stuff like that. Like, uh, Call of Duty Ghost, everyone craps on the maps. I like most of them, they're just not fit for, uh, 6v6. A lot of them for good for ground war, but, um, yeah, here you can see, I think I was in the same Titan all game, and then I have the, um, auto-lock on, uh, right bumper missiles there, so it auto-locks onto them, which is cool, because a lot of people, uh, use the free fire ones and they always miss. And then I think I got the burst fire on with the yeah, 40 millimeter cannon, so it shoots uh, three things in the one burst, and it's got a pretty good size clip. And then a lot of people are using the uh, vortex shield or whatever that is, where you push it out, and then you can put the one I got right here. Um, I unlocked a new one, which is like a shield. It's like a plasma shield from uh, Halo. There's little dudes who had the plasma pistols and the shields, whatever they were called. You can throw it out and stand behind it, and you can shoot through it, but they can't shoot back at you. They can destroy it pretty easily. But um, it's still, if you're gonna like die from a Titan, it's nice to throw out there and stuff like that. And then they have a lot of uh, counters to everything. Counters to uh, people rodeoing, like jump on your Titans and stuff like that. You can throw the smoke grenade that knocks them off. So um, definitely have a lot of st fun stuff in here. Um, I'm not too sure how the longevity of this game will go. There's prestige in it, which is kind of cool. Um, I think it goes up to 10 prestiges. They're called 
I want to say generations or something in this game, but uh, I don't know. I think I played for like three hours, and I'm at like level 30 already, level 29, level 30. So um, I'm assuming the higher levels will take a little uh, longer to get up there, but I'm thinking people can uh, go through all 50 levels within anywhere from uh, like 12 to 16 hours, I would think, of uh, playtime. So I think a lot of people will be. Uh, Prestige and stuff like that and like I said, there's not too many creator class stuff and different customizations the lack of that It's kind of annoying, but overall this game's super fun There you can see I have the satchel charges which are nice to uh, throw on enemy titans and Then I was trying out the uh, one anti-titan thing where it like shoots out um, Sticky grenades, which is kind of nice and they explode on impact But uh, yeah, this game's coming out for the uh, Xbox 360. I want to say on the 25th So uh, like 14 more days, which um it would be pretty cool. Here, I was wanting our teammates to shoot down their enemy uh, evacuation thing. If your team has a bunch of titans, they can shoot it down. And then you get more points if they don't evacuate. I think you get 200 more, or you get 100 points there, you see. Um, I had no titan, though, and I figured out you can use your uh, anti-missile uh, lock-on after this one. I didn't know if you have, like, the uh, lock-on or the sidewinder, you can still take out the uh, escape helicopter thingy like that. So, um, yeah, final score is... Uh, 10 4 30 and 0 so nice little flawless game there of me uh camping not really camping the titan but uh running around the titan so uh more videos soon i was trying to live stream too but uh the twitch app doesn't want to work for some reason because comcast sucks with the xbox one i don't know if it's uh comcast's fault or what but uh, microsoft should be able to fix that so i do uh tether off my phone to play this uh use a little like a uh, uh, wi-fi app whatever it is they're free on android so um yeah, hopefully I can try to get my internet working and I'll try to uh, stream on Twitch because you can use your uh, in-game Xbox headset and stuff like that since I really don't have a uh, good mic for my computer. So, um, yeah, that's it, guys. More Titanfall coming out. Um, more videos coming out soon. So, uh, yeah, all right. And then I'm going to finish off the South Park thing. Even if no one wanted to watch them, I just wanted to put them up there just to uh, finish that off. I finished the game. It was pretty uh, good and just kind of a walkthrough thing because I get stuck on a bunch of the levels that I look on IGN's uh, website so I just figured I'd put them up there as kind of a walkthrough anyway so uh, all right yeah